Welcome back. Now, let's see how to manage pages and add building blocks to your Fusion apps. Adding customizable pages is crucial for building out the functionality and interface of your SaaS application. To add a new page, go to the Edit section of your app. Within the Pages tab, you'll see all the pages that already exist in your app. To make a new one, fill out the page name, choose whether to display it in the menu, and provide access to a specific role as needed. Continuing with our CRM example, we need a page where we can add new customers and list our products. Let's name these pages as Add New Customers and Products. For convenience, we'll display these pages in the menu. We also need a page where all the details of the customer will be saved. For this, let's create a Customer Details page. This page need not be visible in the menu. Later, we'll look at how to make this page accessible. Now, let's create a page for the sales report, which will be displayed in the menu. We want this page to be visible only to the sales manager. You can easily create this role from the Roles section. Now that the pages are ready, let's start adding HTML and UI elements to our products page. HTML provides the structure to the page, whereas the UI elements are the different elements that you see in your app, like forms, tables, headings, etc. Here, we'll first give a header to the page. Then let's add a card to give the page a structure. In the header of the card, let's add a compact form using which the users can add their products. Then in the body, let's add a table that will show the list of all the products. Once this is done, save the HTML and then view the live page. Our product page is now ready. As your app evolves, you may want to edit the page settings. You can do that by going to the Edit Page section. Don't worry, this was just a gist of how HTML and UI elements are used. In our next videos, we will be exploring the HTML and UI elements in more detail.